My conclusion of this video is this. The world is always moving towards the destination of where people have the strongest intention. Have you already watched the interview with David Icke on London Real? Do you believe in conspiracy theories? Do you think we're living in the matrix and the world is controlled by a handful of reptilians? Before you say no, open your mind and ask yourself, why am I so sure? How should I know all the truth what's going on in this world? But if reptilians are too extreme, do you think there are a handful of powerful people that have a great impact in this world? Like the Rothschild or the Rockefeller? This can be somehow understandable, right? Where do you think the controls of the world are trying to take us? Is it a terrible place where humans are installed nano chips into their bodies and literally controlled? Or is it a better place for everyone to live in? Before I tell you my thoughts, I'm a strong believer that there isn't 100% truth in this world. If you're not God, there are only different perceptions. We shouldn't get locked up in a specific thought or belief. There should always be a chance to involve our thoughts. David Icke said we need to open our mind and heart to all possibilities and let your own experience that comes into your life be the guide to where you want to go. I really like this idea. I'm not fully convinced about what David Icke said about the world is controlled by a handful of reptilians and the COVID-19 doesn't exist. But I do think the controls of the world, whoever they may be, are intentionally moving the world to where they want. The strong intention is pushing the world to their favor. Most of us are just busy living our individual life and we don't have a strong will or interest on how the world should be. The controls of the world not only have more wealth, but their intention is so immense that it pushes the world to that direction. Intention is absolute power. Even if the horror story might be true that an evil cult is controlling the world, I believe we can change the direction if many people can open their mind and set the intention to stop them. But having said that, I'm a little bit more optimistic on the future. I think there might be some goodwill in the people that have great influence in the world that wants to end the world of economic inequality. Extreme capitalism where the rich and the poor are divided. Where only a few percent who inherited a fortune or those who mastered the game of money can enjoy the top of the pyramid. To reboot the society to a whole new world where people are doing what they love for a living. No hunger or fear of losing a job. People who want to work hard and add value to other people's lives just keeps on doing that. People who aren't interested in that can live a decent life by the support of basic income. The value of money becoming like electricity or water. We can't live without it, but nothing that we get obsessed or worried about like we do now. I believe the world is moving in the favor of the people who want to crush the economy and rebuild a new one. Their intention of creating this COVID-19 might be good, but the process isn't something that everyone agreed on. During this transition, the old and the people who have chronic illness are the victims. Who has the right to pull this off underground? But we can always turn it around. What I'm saying is that most of us aren't even aware of the different type of information that might have truth in it and just blindly believes of what the mainstream media tells them. We don't have enough awareness and people awake in knowing that the world is moving to a certain place intentionally without any open discussion. Dr. Rashid Bhutta says 5G has a negative impact on the human body. Especially for people who have chronic illness who are taking steroids who have weak immune system. 5G will contribute to make things worse. Maybe the rich people can live in an area not close to the 5G towers. Maybe they're eating healthy food and their immune system is strong enough to cope with 5G's high frequency. 5G might not be deadly for healthy people, but the problem is the world is moving towards 5G without any debate. David Icke says COVID-19 doesn't exist. I personally think that it does exist, but it's just not deadly than we thought it was. But it seems that the people who are controlling the world wants to keep the horror story of COVID-19. Why? There might be multiple reasons. To continue lockdown and make the economy crash and rebuild a new one. For the controls of the world to install nano chips into every single human body and literally control the world. The Chinese way of dealing with COVID-19 is becoming a role model of how to control the situation. Eventually, the government will be able to monitor people's body temperature. Where are they now? Where did they go? And who they met in the past weeks? Be able to dictate who is suspicious of having COVID-19 and isolate them. Obviously, in that kind of world, freedom is limited. Or maybe the intention of the ruler is to create enough fear of COVID-19 for people to feel desperate of having the new vaccine. What I'm worried mostly is about fear. Fear is the enemy of this whole COVID-19 story. We really need to distinguish danger and fear. As Dr. Rashid Bhutta said, danger is real. Fear is an illusion. Yes, COVID-19 is a virus and dangerous. 
We need to wash our hands to prevent it. We should eat healthy food and take care of our body and exercise to create a stronger immune system. But social distancing and putting on masks seems a little bit too overacting for me. Dr. Judy Milkovich says it just weakens our immune system and doesn't have any positive effect. All the fear, anxiety, and anger that we create inside creates the world outside. The outside world is always a reflection of your thoughts and emotions inside. We should eliminate fear and stay calm and strong. Acknowledging the danger outside but always staying cool inside. Looking at the world from multiple angles and observing. Is the strategy that Sweden is doing to herd immunity a wise thing to do? I think yes it makes sense if we want to overcome this COVID-19 by improving immunity and not relying on vaccines. If we want to keep the current economy and stop people being mentally crushed by losing their job and living with fear, of course, yes. I don't think a complete lockdown is what we all want. We're just forced to think that way. Again, if we don't want that, we just need to gather enough people's intention to stop it. We're powerful than we think we are. But I personally think we need to be prepared to adapt to whichever way the world goes. And that's to focus on what you can do individually. To prepare for the new economy and to be tough enough to survive now. We need to focus on our strengths and grow it and to find what we love doing. Watching carefully of the future of the industry you're in. If you think you're in the right place, hold on to your job by adding value. Work on a side hustle that enhances your strengths and skills on your current or new job. The world is changing. You and I can't control what the world's intention wants to go in the end. Focusing on creating a positive future for ourselves first, regardless of where the world goes. Again, the inner world in ourselves creates the world outside. If you think the world is full of fear, sorrow, anger, and jealousy, if you think the world is full of unsatisfaction and lack of hope, you're just going to create that same reality. These negative thoughts and emotions are the root cause of illness and death. We need to clutter our thoughts and create positivity and peace. Observing carefully on what's going on outside and think of what we can do as individuals. Taking actions. Staying healthy and improving our strengths. Raising our voice and making people aware of different perspectives. There is no right or wrong. There might be a handful of people controlling the world or maybe that's not the case. What's important is the world is always moving towards the destination where people have the strongest intention. We can change the world if we have enough people who share and resonate with your thoughts. We can change the perspective of those who have preconceived ideas if we have the compassion for others. I believe if we can gather the right intention, we can create a different world. But again, I still have hope that the new world after this crisis will be a better place. Maybe I'm too naive, but there might be some goodwill of the controllers of the world having the intention to make this world a fair and beautiful place. But we don't have to agree on that agenda either. We need to learn more and study what's going on around the world today. Not by only watching the mainstream news. Opening your mind for all possibilities and theories. Trusting your own intuition and experience of what you think is right. As David Icke said, open up your heart and do what you think is right. Everyone is different and diversity is a beautiful thing. But ignorance isn't. We have the right to choose. Life is all about decisions. Let's choose the right thing for you and your family so that we don't regret it. If you want to learn about the Japanese journalist Sakai Tanaka, how he thinks who controls the world, the next video to watch is this. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Joey, and this channel is all about self-development tips to change your mindset and change your life. So if this sounds good to you, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.